This little switcher was part of a playset for younger railroaders. It came with a few cars, track, transformer, and crayons with a coloring mat. I picked it up for $5 at a train show and it actually runs really well. Or at least it did, until I dropped it on the floor which cracked the bottom loose from the motor mounts and the gears didn't line up too well after that either. I had an uncracked base from the parts bin but it never ran right after I put it back together. I haven't had the best luck with any train molded in yellow plastic, but I'll continue on with the cosmetic transformation. I used 400 grit wet dry sandpaper to remove the graphics and sprayed the entire shell in dark navy paint. Then I masked off the cab for some yellow stripes. This will be decorated as a switcher for the Baltimore and Ohio Railway. It will be sort of a hybrid between B&O's freight and passenger paint schemes. My next step is to paint the roof in a dull gray color, as you might also see on some of their Madison-style passenger cars. One thing that I'm not crazy about with Rust-Oleum sprays is the amount of time needed between coats especially when using masking tape. Depending on the color, you have to wait several days, sometimes even a week, before masking the next color, or you run the risk of the tape leaving a rough texture on the base color, the earlier color, which can be very frustrating if you've already spent a lot of time and work getting your finish to look good. I'm making my own decals, which is another reason for the white stripe on the cab. This was printed on white inkjet decal paper and sealed with a clear spray before being applied to the sides. The placement looks good and then it's applied just like any other decal. After I get these decals applied to the newly painted body, I think I will just put it back together and it will become a shelf piece for display only. There are a couple of things about this that bother me, and probably the biggest one is the mismatching of scales between this locomotive and any other O-gauge equipment I have. This seems much closer to 132nd scale instead of 148. It doesn't look right with any passenger cars, with other locomotives, and of course it started its life molded in yellow plastic, so the curse continues. But if you enjoyed this video, and maybe you picked up a few tips on how to paint or decal some of your own equipment, please think about liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Bob's Workshop. Take care.